Ngayon naman ay magsasagot tayo ng mga derivatives using the power rule. So let's start with the first function. We have y equals x cubed all over 3 plus x squared all over 2 plus x. Now, sa mga um, solutions na kung saan meron mga fractions, instead of working it out na parang quotient rule, ang gagawin ko, i -re rewrite ko yung function into 1 third x cubed plus 1 half x squared plus x. Kasi mas madali mag-derive kapag ka yung uh, form ng inyong function is something like this. So, derivative ng 1 third x cubed plus derivative ng 1 half x squared plus derivative ng x. So, lahat ng yan, power rule lang. So, yung una nating term, pagkuhan ng y prime o ng derivative function would be 1 over 3 times 3 x squared plus 1 half times 2 x plus zero, um, sorry, plus 1. Kasi um, derivative ng uh, x is simply 1. Now, to simplify our function, so yung 1 third, pwede natin siyang ma-cancel. So we are going to end up with x squared plus, cancel din natin to, x plus 1. So, ang derivative ng x over x cubed all over 3 plus x squared all over 2 will be simply x squared plus x plus 1. So, this is our first example. Now, let's move on to our second example. So, second example, we have g of x and mapapansin nyo na meron tayo ditong square root or cube root. So, every time mag mag find tayo ng derivative ng isang function, lagi nating i-change yung mga um, radicals na makikita nyo into an exponential function. So, instead of using this, papalitan ko siya ng g of x equal to 5x to the negative 3 over 5th minus 7e to the x minus 4x to the 1 third. So, to find g prime of x, kukunin natin yung derivative ng 5x to the negative 3 over 5 minus derivative ng 7e to the x minus derivative ng 4x to the 1 third. So, lahat ng yan, mga power rule lang except for e to the x. So, kailangan yung malaman na yung derivative ng, or derivative rule for e to the u, sulat ko lang dito, derivative rule ng e raised to a function u is simply e to the u times du dx. Or yung derivative ng Exponent. So, kung meron tayong e to the x, ang derivative niya would be e to the x times the derivative ng x. At alam natin yung derivative ng x is equal to 1. So, e to the x is simply 1 or e to the x. So, it's safe to say na every time we see e to the x, ang derivative ng e to, that e to the x is simply e to the x. So, yung g prime of x natin, to go back to our solution, is simply 5 times negative 3 over 5 x to the so you negative 3 over 5 I'm going to solve natin siya dito negative 3 over 5 minus 1 is simply negative 3 over 5 minus 5 over 5 para mas madali so negative 3 minus 5 is negative 8 over 5. So, this is going to be negative 8 over 5. So, yan yung exponent ng ating derivative function para dito sa first term. Minus derivative na e to the x. So, constant lang yung 7. So, 7 e to the x. Kasi, nakuha na natin yung derivative kanina nung e to the x nung pinakita ko yung e to the u du dx. Minus derivative nito would be 4 times 
one third x to the so yung one third mag subtract ulit tayo ng one third sa one so to show that let's just do it here one over three minus three over three is simply negative two over three so yung exponent niya would be negative two over three so yung g prime of x natin is going to be cancel natin to kasi pwede natin siya ma-cancel negative 3 x to the negative 8 over 5 minus 7e to the x minus 4 over 3 x to the negative 2 over 3 so yan yung g prime of x natin in terms of a fractional exponent and kung gusto niyo siyang i-simplify further pwede rin siyang isulat as g prime of x equals negative 3 all over fifth root of x to the 8 minus 7e to the x minus 4 over 3 third root of x squared. So parehas lang tong dalawang to. Yung isa nga lang, sinimplify natin using uh, radicals or square roots. So ito yung um, second example. Now for our third example, For our third example, meron tayong x cubed plus 3 all over x. And in most cases, yung ibang mga sudyante, ang gagawin nila is yung quotient rule. Pero pag nakikita kayo ng monomial as your denominator, pwede nyo siyang isimplify by the law of exponents para mas madali siyang isolve. So instead of using this, iti-change ko siya into x squared plus 3 multiplied by x to the negative 1. Kasi yung 1 over x can be rewritten as x to the negative 1. So, distribute nyo lang siya. So, magkakaroon na tayo ngayon ng um, x plus 3x to the negative 1. So, ito na yung bago nating f of x. So, ngayon, pwede na natin gamitin yung power rule para makuha yung f prime of x. So, f prime of x is simply d dx or derivative ng x plus 3 times d dx ng x to the negative 1. So, sinet aside ko si constant kasi ito yung tinatawag natin na um, yung coefficient rule pag nag -de derive tayo. So, yung f prime of x will simply be derivative ng x will be 1 plus 3 times derivative, derivative ng x to the negative 1 will simply be negative 1 x to the negative 2. So, yung f prime of x can be 1 minus 3x to the negative 2 or pwede natin siyang isulat as f prime of x equal to 1 minus 3 all over square root of x. So, yan yung pwedeng version ng ating f prime of x. So, ito yung third example. Now, dun sa pang-apat na example natin, We'll have u of x at kailangan natin kunin yung u prime of x. So, meron na naman tayong monomial sa denominator. So, pwede natin gamitan siya ng power rule by changing this into u of x equal to 3x squared plus 2x to the 1 half by x to the negative 1. So, in this case, i-distribute natin siya. So, alam naman natin pag nag-multiply tayo ng uh, um, functions, yung exponent, ina-add natin. So, 2 minus 1. So, magkakaroon tayo dito ng 3x to the 2 minus 1 plus 2x 1 half minus 1. Kasi dinistribute natin yung exponent na negative 1. So, yung 2 minus 1 is simply 3 x 2 minus 1 is 1 plus 2 x 1 half minus 1 so 1 half minus 2 all over 2 is simply 1 minus 2 all over 2 which is negative 1 half so 1 half minus 1 is negative 1 half 
So, ito na yung bago nating function. Hindi pa tayo gumagamit ng power rule kasi algebra pa lang yung ginamit natin to find this equation. So, u prime of x is simply 3x or um, 3, kasi derivative ng 3x is 3, plus derivative nito would be 2 times negative 1 half times f to the negative 1 half minus 2 over 2 is negative 3 all over 2. So, negative 3 all over 2. So, ito na ngayon yung ating u prime of x. Pwede siyang 3 minus, cancel natin siya, minus x to the negative 3 over 2 or u prime of x is 3 minus 1 over square root of x cubed. So, ito yung um, derivative ng 3x squared plus 2x or 2 squared of x all over x.